And in this case, we're going to tackle some more algebra word problems. And the one we're mostly interested in now is some problems in investments. And here's a good example. Uh, Mary invested a certain amount of money at 10% interest rate and $2,000 more than that at 12% interest rate. Her total yearly interest earned is $1,340. How much did she invest at each rate? So one thing we should know before we get started is that the amount of interest you can earn on investment is equal to the principal times the rate at which you invested at times the time the number of years you invested for. In algebra, we usually let t equal one year, so it becomes simply the interest earned is equal to the principal invested times the interest rate at which we invested at. And we'll be using the equation in this problem. So just like all other algebra problems, we're going to use the variable x, let x equal, and let x equal the amount invested at 10%. So let x equal the amount invested at 10%. Okay, then it says Mary's going to invest 2,000s more than that at 12%. So x plus 2,000 equals the amount invested. at 12%. Okay, and it's very important that you define very carefully what these are. All right, now we can go ahead and come up with an equation. There's some sort of constraint, there's something that will guide us in coming up with a good equation. And uh, let's see here. Well, if she invests some money at 10% and some money at 12%, and all that she earns from both investments adds up to $1,340, we could probably write that the interest earned at 10% plus the interest earned at 12% should add up to $1,340. There you go. There is the equation that will help us solve this problem. Now we simply have to put in what these are. And again, just like here we said, it's the principal times the rate at which we invested. And since the principal uh, at 10% is x, we can write x times 10%. Now, of course, 0 0.10 or 0 0.10 is the decimal equivalent of 10%. So that's the interest earned at 10% plus x plus 2,000 is the amount invested at 12%, so we can write 0.12. This is the amount of interest earned at 12%, and that should add up to $1,340. So now you can see that you have just a simple um, linear equation that we can solve for x, and now we use our principles to do that with. The first thing we want to do is get rid of these decimal places, and so that means we're going to multiply each side by 100. If I multiply this by 100, the decimal moves over two places, and the decimal is gone. And over here, of course, since I'm multiplied the left side by 100, I must do exactly the same to the right side. Okay, so 100 times this, that becomes x times 10, plus 100 times this, that becomes x plus 2,000 times 12, and 100 times this, I simply add two zeros. There you go, decimal place is gone. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get rid of the parentheses. I'm going to multiply these together. So x times 10 is 10x. And here I'm going to multiply the 12 times the x and the 12 times the 2,000. So I get 12x plus 24,000. And that adds up to what I have on the right side, 134,000. Okay, the next step is I'm, I'm going to move all the numbers to the right side, all the x's to the left side. The x's are already here, so they stay there. So 10x plus 12x is 22x equals, and on the right side I have 134,000, and then I move the 24,000 the 24, to the right side, and of course remember when I cross the equal sign, I change the sign, that becomes minus 24,000. I combine like terms, so I have 22x equals 134,000 minus 24,000 is 110,000, and finally I divide both sides of the equation by 22, that cancels out, so I end up with x equals, hmm, what's 110,000 divided by 22? Well, 
If I were to double this number and make it 220,000 divided by 22, that would give me 10,000. So 110,000 divided by 22 is 5,000. All right, so going back over here to what I defined, if X is the amount invested at 10%, that means X is $5,000. And then if I invest $2,000 more at 12%, that means I invested, or not me, but Mary, invested $7,000 at 12%. If you want to make sure you did this correctly, you can check yourself by going and calculating how much you earned at each. So, $5,000 at 10% interest. So 10% is one-tenth of 5,000. That means the interest earned would be $500. And $7,000 at 12%, hmm, uh, seven times 10% is 700, seven times 2% is 140, that would be $840. If I add them together, sure enough, $1,340, which is correct. That means I did the problem correctly.